Welcome everybody, my name is Daniel Molina. I'm going to go over this talk, who needs Excel managing their student qualification with our table. I'm a professor, I work every day, I have to qualify my student. While most would consider it normal in this situation, we need to use Excel or LibreOffice for doing that. However, I think that approaching it from Emacs has several interesting advantages. First, I would like to write the qualification next to the justification next to the error, the student error, and that's why for is not comfortable to doing that. Actually, I always prefer to write in Emacs for many reasons, as many of you. I also, I love test format because I can compare version using a control version system like GIT and it easily the change. This is very useful for the revision period in which I a student visit to me and maybe I can change the qualification for any reason. I also can export the result directly to PDF to publish them in my online campus for the student. I have many tools for doing that. I already knew about our table formula. I thought it could be cool and useful to use image for that. And I recently found a package or TBL aggregate that is adequate for doing that. Unfortunately, I didn't, so, I didn't see a lot of information about how to do that in a painless way. So I have to lay training and testing, and then prepare this course to solve that problem and to help other teachers. Anyway, it could be used not only for teaching, but more, by more context. Well, let's start. First, I have two sections, the comments and the section of the table, or result. I have um, the comment for each student is in a different headline, it's very used to check with or uh, no coach. I can go directly using your help or ID or consult to go directly to the section. So it's very nice. Then I put the comment right completely wrong. It answer other question. I put all the comments here that I could send to the student, you can imagine, and then I can put the qualification, the score for the student. The thing with that is uh, initially, when I started doing that, I put, I don't know, the deception and a qualification with that. Okay, that's one point, this a three, and use a column total with something like that. Okay, that's nice. But then when I start getting more and more part, I consider that it's more, comfort it's more useful to use, to put for each part, which is the maximum qualification, for each on the edge of the qualification. In that case, I'm going to put the first one is to score, the second three point, the third, one is uh, one point and the last one four point and instead of putting that in that way i like to put one is completely right zero is completely wrong or maybe some inter intermediate values of that of course i have to change the qualification the formula so it's very simple i only have to put multiply the values of the second line with that. So it's very useful to, for doing that. Okay, that's the first part. So I can put the comment. I can go to the section. I can crash. I'm going to put more qualification. Now I'm going to put uh, the table. First, I'm going to change the rename, the column name, because it's easier when there is only one work. And it's very simple to use. So you have to put the name, aggregate, the name of the table, in that case, group A. And in another string, the column. For example, name, 
surname total. And you can see that you can get a resume list with all the students, but only within with the final score to put that to publish them. Okay? Even you can update, rename the column, not the original table, but in the resume table using in that format. Using that format. Okay. That is a good option. Now we are going to see how can we use that to make a reduction of the a subset of the student. For instance, imagine I this is me. I'm going to put the bar a change. Now I can update. You can see this. But also I, I'm going to put uh, the a list with the student that had failed the, the exam. It's important because this uh, this package has the option com. I'm going to put first to see it better. I'm going to put a condition in which we are get less than I have uh, five. I have to use a string to number total. In that way, I can see that this is the student that has failed the exam. I could use that to make another table. This the people that pass. The sum. Another interesting feature also is that I can the the sum table can be sorted automatically. It's simple. You only have to put this symbol, and you can put next to the to the column you want to use for the sort, and then you can put a if you want to sort alphabetically. In that case, if you want to reverse the sort, and and if you want to sort. Numerically, for instance, I can put that we from the less score to the best score, or here from the best score to the less score, and this sort is completely independent to the sort of the original table. Now I'm going to do another different thing. We are going to put a new table. I'm going to put. Um, and a table in which I'm going to put the the number of past student, fail student, and the ratio of student is simple. I'm going to put the past in that case as column. I can put the count. Of course, I can put the count, the number of students that have passed that I have passed, so I'm going to put uh, in this way, okay, I'm going to put past count fail radio. You can see, okay, but this only the count you are going to put the number of grown. So it's true, but you can actually put formula here. For instance, you can say, I know that I have three students, so the number of fail is three minus the past student. And also I can put the formula is the people, the student that pays divide into the number total of students. Okay, let's go to put that in that way. If the people that pass is better in that way, and also I can put directly the number of the ratio of a student. So in that way I can have a table with the, the student that passed, the student that failed, and the ratio of people that pass. 
Yo dan di tarifica le very useful for me to see how much has been the sum, how much, how much good that has been the exercise. Now I'm going to put a, a new table. This new table is going to go from the statistics. Uh, statistics score. Please begin aggregate table final. In this case, I'm going to use not the original table by the final. I'm going to put final group final P1 final P2 okay and as calls I'm going to put uh, directly how many how many result I have I put number I'm going to put also the mean. You can see that mean total is not working because I'm using this table and I was renamed, the column name was renamed. So it's mean the score. Mean. And the, the score. You can obtain STDF SDEV. Sorry, there was an error about that and was a uh, two decimal. And that is another interesting score. Now I'm going to finish showing how we can use to finish it. We are going to, to see how we can combine several table or even aggregated table in a new table. For instance, you can have a table for the practice one, you can have a table for a practice two. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to, to move this table, well, you can copy or remove, doesn't matter the order, I'm going to put this, identify the result of practice 2, or create an ID, then we have a previous result, and I have a final table, the final table could be complicated, but it's not so much complicated, it's only that I'm going to put something that the formula one, the formula is to make an or lookup first of the second, the same name, considering that is unique. Remote of the same name and let's say another remote of the three element okay that's an error because I don't put yet the ID. So I'm going to copy, mark, and copy, and pass the ID, the unique ID generated. I put that. Think there is missing one final ID. Okay, that's that right. So if Imagine that I change something here, for instance, I put I change that, actually this is changed also, and this is changed. 
This is a good way to divide the clarification in several in several files, one for the practice one, one for the practice two, and one final practice that I can finally to export in a final tab table. Of course, you can make it a lot more pretty, but this is all I want to show you. I hope with this talk you have learned a lot more about all formula, aggregate package, and who can use all this technique to improve your qualification of a student or for whatever you want.